Hi everyone and welcome to a new Civilization 5 game. So, since I've been playing quite a lot of Hearts War on 4 recently, I figured I'll play a Civ that somewhat fits the theme. Which means we'll be playing as Poland under Piłsudski. It's a modded Civilization by JFD. Now, I had a slightly fancier setup in mind for this game originally, but I had some problems with bugs when I was testing it. So, we'll play a mostly regular game on a randomized Pangea map, which means World Age, Temperature, Rainfall and Sea Level are all randomized. And we are playing with strategic balance, because we'll need horses for one of our unique units, and we'll also need oil for our other unique unit. And we'll be playing on standard game pace, because I am still using the Future Wars mod, which extends information era, as you might remember. Which means we will have a much greater chance of actually seeing information era when playing with standard game pace. And I am also using rationalism removal mod, which moves rationalism to information era. I quite enjoyed that one. And I'm using enhanced user interface as always. You can find links to all these mods in the description below, as usual. And I think that covers the game setup. So, Piłsudski's unique ability is that units are trained faster and earn more experience from combat when fighting against a foe with greater military force. And after industrialization, workers can build weaker manufactories and customs houses. But it's nothing crazy, it's just a plus free version of a manufactory and plus free version of a customs house. And his unique units are replacements for a fighter and for cavalry. The fighter has better range and a bonus against land units, and the cavalry can attack again and deals extra damage after defeating an enemy in battle. So, that's Poland under Piłsudski. Let's get started. Should be fun. Alright, so let's take a look at our starting location, and <laughs> it's already pretty damn good. Alright, well then, that's maybe a little bit overpowered even. On the other hand, we have a lot of Tundra, but these are mostly Tundra hills. Yeah, let's start on spot. I see no real reason to move, and this is a very easy to defend location. And we have a growth tile right away. Well then, this is an amazing start. Okay. Let's get started on pottery. So here's information era, in case you didn't watch my first Future Wars game. There's a lot of new stuff in here. So hopefully, with standard speed, we'll actually get to see that. That's kind of the point here. We'll see how it goes. Alright, let's go and explore. I wonder if it's mostly going to be planes. Okay, we got a natural wonder nearby. And that's a pretty good one too. We might want to settle our second city there. So far there are a lot of hills nearby, which is a good thing. That means we'll get a lot of production. We'll grab the ruin. Okay, a map. Yeah, a lot of tundra and plains so far. Alright then. Well, I think I know where the second city is going to be. That's going to be a no-brainer. That's going to be the exact tile our warrior is standing on. Yep, let's keep exploring. There's the scout, we got under the ruin to the south, and the marble just out of range. We only got one unique luxury in range, but hey, I can't complain when we got a start like this. We'll grab a monument, and let's go find some neighbors. I wonder who we're going to get. 85 gold, which means I could buy a tile immediately. Let's do exactly that. And we'll move that guy to salt immediately. Let's keep exploring. There's the first city-state. Let's check it out. That's a cultured city-state, alright. That's fine. A lot of Tundra, yeah. I'm glad we got a pretty good start. Because this is not going to be a super friendly map. For big cities. Alright, we can buy another salt right away if we want to. I think we should. Yep, let's do exactly that. We should buy all these tiles as soon as possible. The sooner the better. I should have bought the hill, maybe. Nah. Alright, let's keep moving. More ruins. Advanced weapons, nice. We upgraded to a scout archer. 
That's always good to have. We got Shaka, alright. And he's sort of our neighbor? Where exactly is he? He's to the north. Okay, I don't think he's too close to us. But having Shaka nearby is never a good thing. Animal husbandry, because we will definitely have horses in range. And there's the monument done. Another ruin. And yet another ruin. We'll grab a tradition right away. And... I think we should recruit a worker. Unless I want to steal a worker from Brussels. But even if we steal a worker from Brussels, we should still recruit another one. So we'll do exactly that. And let's see if we can grab the ruin before Shaka does. He did have a unit nearby. We also got Spain, alright. That's not a very good neighbor to have, because Spain tends to be fairly unpredictable. And they also send a crap ton of great prophets your way. Because they like religion. Which, to be fair, might not be a bad thing. If they get an actual good religion. There's Zolondi. And we got archery from a ruin. It's pretty close to us. It's not super close, but I predict we'll end up at war with Shaka fairly early on. Because that's going to happen. Hopefully he will expand to the north, which is what he's doing so far. Alright, oligarchy. And let's continue. And we should change the tal assignment. There's animal husbandry. We got four horses in range. No, we got eight horses in range. Very nice. Let's work the other salt. With actual food on it. And we need to heal our warrior up. And we obviously need to get mining. Especially since we're about to finish that worker. The good news is... Warsaw should be easy to defend. Although I would prefer to have the lake to the north. Obviously. But... Can't complain too much with a start like that. Nope, I'm not selling you an embassy. Let's heal that warrior then. I see a settler. So let's actually move closer to that settler. Where is he going to go? We can try to discourage him from starting a city close to us. So that's what I'm going to do if possible. Unless he moves north, then I don't have to do anything. Right, I think we should get units early on. Because we'll need some defenses. I think that's fairly obvious. We'll just grab an archer. I will likely need at least four composite bowmen. And since we are still working on mining, we can improve the horses. And then just sell them, I suppose. That's not a terrible idea. The first pantheon was founded. Alright then. Or was that a second one, actually? That was the second one. Yeah, the AI almost always gets Goddess of Protection. There's the Settler. Doesn't look like he's going to forward settle us. He's going west-ish. Sounds good to me. Carry on, then. And we got yet another city-state. Mercantile city-state. That's always useful to have nearby. And we should probably get rid of the Barbarian camp to the northeast. There's mining. Let's kill that warrior before he gets killed by a barbarian. And... Writing, or do we want to reveal iron? I think I'll be busy improving all these salt tiles. Let's go for writing. Get an early library. There's the third city by Shaka. It's not too close to us. And we have a city-state. It doesn't entirely block the way, unfortunately, but there's a city state between us and Shaka, that's always useful. Unless he captures it, which is certainly a possibility. So, production, let's grab that shrine to get a pantheon, and we'll go kill some barbarians with our brand new archer. With both our archers. So I could capture a worker from Brussels if I want to. Not sure if it's worth it. It might be. Is it protected by anyone? No, it's not. It might be worth capturing that guy, actually. Getting two workers early on would be quite helpful. He just needs to leave the city, you know? 
instead of sitting in there. Alright, let's go kill the barbarians. We got plus one population. I think we should work the deer to grow the city faster. And so, for population, I think we should grab a settler right away. After the shrine, I suppose. And we'll settle the natural wonder because I obviously still want that. We got Russia. Interesting set of sieves so far. And Shaka started a fourth city. Shaka is a very expansionist leader. So he will most likely spam a lot of cities. That's what he usually does. He's one of the most expansionist AIs. So expect him to spam a lot of cities. That's definitely what's going to happen. Which also means I should grab any good locations in the area. Like that natural wonder. And we will almost definitely end up fighting. Like that's completely unavoidable. We will end up at war with Shaka sooner or later. Because he will just start expanding in my general direction. Now I'd like to grab that ruin before someone steals it, so let's get that first. We can get the Barbarian camp on the next turn. As for our research, we got writing, let's reveal Aaron, because we will have some in range. Now I don't want him to know where Warsaw is, imagine that. And also we can speed up the settler now, if we do something like this. Okay, that's six turns. Yep, six turns is best we can do from the looks of it. Alright then. Let's grab the Barbarian Camp. 25 gold. And keep exploring. Find some more sieves. Maybe find more ruins. Interesting map so far. Okay, Polynesia. So, one of the weaker sieves. Wouldn't be surprised to see him conquered. Because that's what happens quite often. Alright, let's go explore a bit more. Maybe we can grab that ruin, but it might be a little bit tough with a barbarian nearby. Drill one. Embassy. I can exchange embassies with Polynesia. He's all the way to the east. Nowhere close to us. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can grab that ruin. That might be slightly problematic. He might want to go and kill that barbarian camp. And here's another worker. But since we are friends with Vilnius, I'm not going to steal their worker. Oh, Eldorado! Okay then. I think I want that. I definitely want that. Oh, great. Barbarians. Well, I think we have to go back with at least one archer to protect our city. Yeah, there's a barbarian come to the south. We can kill that guy with city bombardment. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, I will lose the warrior if I grab the ruin, but it might be worth it. It was not worth it. It was not worth it at all. Declaration of friendship with Spain. Yeah, I can accept that. I don't plan going to war with them. At least not at the start of the game. Shame about that unit, but oh well. At least the AI will not get that ruin. And let's go repair the tiles, send the archer back south, and we found Russia. Russia seems to be our closest neighbor. They are slightly closer than Shaka is. There's the archer, just need to change tile assignments now. And I should probably wait for an escort. It's not very safe to send him on his own, but I'm not seeing any barbarian comes to the west. It might be fine. Famous last words. It's always a bit of a gamble sending a settler with no escort. Not sure if I should have accepted that embassy, but we did it anyway. Let's just go. And we'll explore the area a bit more. This is a pretty good location for a city. But it would be a bit of an aggressive settle. Not sure if we can afford to grab Eldorado. We got six iron. Alright, not bad. 8 horses and 6 iron. Obviously, I am playing with strategic balance, but there's no guarantee how many you will actually get. As for our next research, what do we need? We need trapping to improve the deer, I suppose. We can grab that. We should also improve that wheat to the northwest as soon as possible. 
And we'll send one archer to explore and one archer to kill some barbarians. Sounds like a plan. Finish the mine. It's right next to a city-state. Maybe the city-state will actually kill the barbarians? That's what happens quite often in a situation like this. I guess we'll find out. We can accept that embassy. Okay, Spain is right next to Shaka. I bet we could get them to fight each other. But what's most likely going to happen is that Shaka will conquer Spain. That's almost guaranteed to happen if they go to war. Start the city. I think that was a no-brainer location right there. And we can grab a shrine before the library. Alright, let's explore some more. I'll check whether that barbarian camp is still there. And if it is, we'll just destroy it. We got 353 gold. We could save up and just buy our second settler. That's not a bad idea. And we can sell our salt now. Let's see, let's get some gold. We're playing on standard speed, which means 240 gold. And improve more salt. There's our next policy. I think we should go for landed elite. Our happiness is fine right now. And we'll get the next policy soon enough. Okay, the barbarian camp is still there and they have a worker. That's convenient. I wouldn't mind a worker. That's definitely the city-state worker, which means we'll get an option to return him. But it's a maritime city-state. I don't care about maritime city-states that much. We'll be keeping that worker. Just need to be careful because there's a Spanish scout nearby. I wouldn't want him to steal my worker. It would be best to send another unit. But I would have to wait to actually recruit a unit. Let's recruit an archer. I want to make sure we'll actually get that worker. And we'll need more units anyway. You know, to defend ourselves against Shaka. Because it's not a question of whether we'll go to war with Shaka or not. It's a question of when exactly it's going to happen. Because it will happen. We also have enough gold to just buy a settler now. We should probably just do exactly that. And great, another barbarian. Well, I have to move. Unfortunately, I think we lost the worker. What's this tile? Is that a hill? No, planes. Well, that's slightly annoying. At least I'm about to finish an archer. Where did he come from, though? Must have been a barbarian camp spawning to the north. As for research, what do we want next? What do we need next? We don't need anything specific. Let's grab the wheel. We can get started on a road. So, okay, he did not capture the worker. That's good. He pillaged the tile. Which makes sense. Too many barbarians around here. We need more archers. I'm glad I recruited three archers. Well, two archers. The third one was from a ruin. He's going to pillage more salt. You know, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because we'll be able to get new deals. Like that. So hey, there's a positive. Yep, salt to Isabella ended. Because the salt got pillaged. Alright, I think we should... Yep, there's a barbarian camp over here, but I don't think that's where that guy came from. Yeah, I don't think that was it. But we should settle that location to the northeast. Before Shaka forward settles us. And he probably will if I let him. So we'll just grab a settler right away. We'll drop into negative happiness briefly. But that shouldn't really be a huge problem. Okay. And we still have to handle all these barbarians. Let's focus on this camp first, because we'll have to clear that. Plus one population, god. We'll have to work the fish for now, I suppose. Don't really have a better option right now. I want at least three population before we start working the natural wonder. Although, it's probably worth working the natural wonder to get the pantheon faster. Let's do that. It just means the city will not grow. Alright, let's repair the salt. And go kill the barbarians. Might want to heal the archer first. 
probably a good idea, and move away from the barbarians. They might capture another worker from Geneva, and then we could maybe get allied with Geneva, or friendly at least. It's a religious city-state, but influence with a city-state for free is always nice, regardless of what kind of city-state it is. I'm not sure if they are going to do it. But they are pretty damn close to Geneva. There's a good chance they will do it. We can just attack them a bit. And there's our Pantheon. Should we just go for the safe option and pick up one with nature? I don't think we'll be getting Eldorado because it's slightly too far away. We could also go for Faith from Salt, which I think is a better option. I'm not sure. We would only get plus 4 from the National Wonder. And we can get more than plus 4 from Earth Mother. Because there's more salt that I can settle, and we also got iron. Yeah, I think Earth Mother is actually a no-brainer here, and not one with nature. Let's go for Earth Mother. And that's the library. I guess we'll need that circus. Soon-ish. Alright then. Let's protect the settler, and we have to kill the barbarian. Repair the salt. So far so good, we should probably sell our horses, because I won't be needing them. Will Russia buy them? No. I guess they have their own. Spain is already at war with Shaka. That's not unexpected. Let's get some gold. Give me your gold before you get conquered. Shaka will almost definitely take Madrid. Like, I don't think Spain actually stands a chance. They probably do not. Which is not really a good thing for us. They will get stronger. We can accept the creation of friendship. I mean, I hope Spain will be able to defend. There are some mountains on the way, but Madrid is quite exposed from the west. I don't think he stands a chance. Anyway, let's kill some barbarians. I can't settle a city before we kill that guy. Well, maybe I can, but not really. Where exactly do we want that city? Polynesia will buy our salt. Alright then. That works for me. And Oracle was built. I wonder who the Wonder Spammer is going to be in this game. That was not enough damage. Okay, where exactly do we want that city? Let's have a look. Also, we got the marble. Should probably improve that. ASAP. Even before the salt, but my worker is already here. Right, let's decide where the city is going to be settled. Good question. I could settle exactly where the barbarian camp is. I think that's actually the best location, because we'll get an observatory. And we'll get mostly all these tiles. I think that's the best location. Huh. We'll miss out on Samaron to the north. But... Observatories are just so nice. I think we should settle right here. The only problem is that it's pretty close to Warsaw. And there's going to be a little bit of overlap. As an alternative, I could also settle on top of the hill to make it easier to defend. It will be kind of aggressive. It will be very close to Moscow. I could also start right here where I am and we'll get all that iron to the north. That iron will be worth quite a lot of money. You know, as much as I like observatories, I think it makes sense to get the iron, because it will be worth so much gold in the long run, and there's no guarantee we'll get it if I settle out of range. We could also settle either on top of salt or on top of cattle, but settling on top of salt is a pretty terrible idea. I think we should settle on spot. But I'm actually going to decide that in the next episode, so thanks for watching. If you have any other suggestions for the city location, feel free to post them below.
And I hope you enjoyed this first episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.